Hello everyone and welcome to Miss Creative 47 YouTube channel. Let me turn this up a little bit just in case you can't hear me. I'm getting ready to make the uh, sheets of peel and stick stickers. Uh, I like my stickers to stay on the sheet. I don't like the individual where you have to just have all these stickers just laying around everywhere. I like to keep it on the sheet. That way I can put it in a folder, store it somewhere and when in when I'm ready to, you know, use, I can just pull some out, peel it off, put the sheet back in the envelope. So let's get started. So I already designed my stickers. This is my granddaughter. She's 13 years old and she's an artist. And she sent this image to me uh, last night and I told her I'll make her some stickers. And I'm just showing you what I do to cut it out. Now, if you want me to show you how to make actual stickers uh, then just let me know and I will do a video on that but this one I just want to give you a quick tip if you already know how to make stickers and when I did this this way it cuts out perfectly every time I haven't had a problem with that and my silhouette been really acting up lately so I'm so grateful that I was able to do this for her because she is such an awesome young lady so let's get started so after you finish and I'm going to just go ahead and come over here after you finish designing your stickers and placing them on the sheet that you want in the order that they uh, you want them in then send them to the printer let the printer print it out make sure you have your registration marks on and usually when I first start stuff and I'm knowing I'm doing a print and cut I put my registration marks on first because sometimes I forget and I'll print it and I forgot that I didn't have the registration marks on and then yeah that sucks so um, now you just uh, put it on a mat load it into your machine then you go to send you're not getting ready to um, cut it yet you get ready to choose the material that you're going to tell your silhouette you're cutting so you're going to go to sin I'm just going to come out of here and you're going to go to sin come up okay we already in sin Michelle stop it okay so now we're going to go to material and we're going to click on it and I'm going to click on add new material at the bottom and I'm just going to go here for the sake of it just delete this one right here now all the ones that comes with silhouette is going to be here at the top you know and I can go up further but I am all the way down under user defined user defined is where you can add your own uh, material if you have fabric or if you have like foam or something like that uh, I guess you can put it here it's something different that you want to try and never tried you put that down here because you wouldn't find it up here. So you're creating your own and you have to work with bars, the settings and the cut blade, the force and passes and stuff like that. You have to, you know, uh, practice what's uh, the settings for that on your own. But since I'm doing a kiss cut, the kiss cut for the blade is going to be on two. So I'm clicking this arrow right here. And this is the auto blade. So I'm just adjusting it from here too because it will, won't know about the kiss cut because it's not part of this group uh, that the settings already have. So this one is two. The cut blade is two. The speed is going to be four. The, the, the force for the kiss cut will be one. But I have to make sure I name it. I have to give it a name. So I'm going to go ahead and take this down to one and the pass is going to stay one so now I'm going to come up here and that changed again I should have just clicked on it and I'm going to right click and rename and I'm gonna name it kiss cutting and then I'm going to do two like I said speed is four the force is one because I don't want it to cut through the paper. I just want to cut the top layer, which is the sticky paper and the pass can stay at one. So now that I have my settings for my kiss cutting, I can click save and it will save it to under user defined. So now I can just come out of here and I have to go get it. And it's right there because I, the action when you, you can type in action and if you just and see I don't know why that goes so fast and you can type it and then you can just click on kiss cut when it pops up and there you go and the settings are already there and you're ready to cut 
and I click on it and I always most people when they doing their stickers and they have the offset I never do cut edge I always do cut I don't I, for, for me it it gives it a smooth cut for some reason when I do edge cut automatically it just goes around it twice when I only have one pass so I don't know if that's something that's happened with my silhouette or I, I just don't know but I just keep it on cut and it cuts perfectly every time for me so that's just a tip for me to you and have a wonderful day and I'll see you in my next video